ain't with me, keep low peep on repeat I see the awfulest things Another nice bitch staring down at a gun Got a bullet in the chamber, take it out, then load it up Hell yeah, I wanna die, but I ain't the only one Promised if not for me, I'd at least live on for my son I can Okay, so over here it looks like my black mamba has had a full shed in its new enclosure. It looks like it's adapting well. My puff adders went to the bathroom. Um, snouted cobra. <laughs> Took the fattest shit I've ever seen where they moved their substrates. Um, green mambas went to the bathroom. Uh, Mozambique spitter went to the bathroom. And I am going to check on some of the other snakes in the makeshift rack. But... Yeah, let's hop into it. I think we're going to start with Black Mamba because if I die, then, you know, get tagged. It's, you know, end of it, so I don't have to deal with the rest. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to hop right into it and I'll get to you guys when I do. Okay, so the Black Mamba, I know exactly where it is, hopefully. It is underneath its house over here. I just have to be very careful and not drop a house on a already person with Black Mamba. But he's looking gorgeous. If I can ever get this house out. Very, very reactive. His head is on that side. It actually does have a little bit of stick shit on the tail. So I'm just going to take advantage of this situation while it's stuck around twigs and stuff like that to get off the shed on its tail. And that's what I was worried about. He just popped around very quick. But yeah, I am going to get this hide out. I might need to use tongs because I've put a lot more decorations and enrichment in his enclosure to make him feel more comfortable. So hopefully, I can get him out. No issue. Showing a little bit of his display there. Just have to be quite careful has stuck shit on his tail so I have to be quite careful but look how beautiful he is looking now hey after that shit he might even be Tanzanian locality look at those bands on him the ones down in South Africa usually do not have these like white bands down the belly you guys can see there absolutely gorgeous snake death roading as per usual but I want to get the stuck shit off of its tail just have to be very very careful obviously the infamous black mamba one of the most feared snakes in the world I'm just helping it get off and that classic characteristic whistle they i don't think they have a modified trachea like that of a king cobra but they definitely have look at that in the tail so i'm just concentrating on the head look at that almost all off Sorry, I'm just concentrating. But yeah, so they have that characteristic like a whistle almost when they're hissing. It's not like any other snake that I've ever heard before. There you guys might be able to hear it there. You guys might not think that the, the um, stuck shed on the tail is an issue. But look how cool that is. Full little tail shed. Look at that dead girl. Um, you guys might not think that the, the, the stock shed on the tail is that big of an issue, but it, over time, um, if it keeps on getting stuck and stuck and stuck, it can actually cause the tail to fall off because it, it's the fucking black mamba has my blood pumping. Sorry about that. Voice is going a little bit. I'm not thinking properly. But, um, it's just the adrenaline's pumping. But what I was saying is that if the shed keeps on coming and coming and coming and not coming off of the tail, it can actually cause lack of blood flow to the tail and actually causing it to die off. So it can become quite an issue. But yeah, I'm just going to put him in the bin and clean up his enclosure. Okay, so after fumbling my words for a bit there, you guys can see how gorgeous this black mamba is. And maybe he'll hiss for us that infamous whistle don't think he will at the moment did get a video of it but he is spreading that little narrow hood that most people don't know that black mambas actually possess and that's pretty cool but let's get him out real quick and real safe like is the enclosure here just hold on let's just get everything sorted 
just don't want to fiddle with glass and stuff like that while I'm dealing with the black mumbo. But yeah, let's get him out of here now. He is not playing games at the moment. Just have to be a little bit slow and gentle with him. I don't want him to come striking at me, but there you guys can see the black mark that these guys have. And that hood that most people don't actually know that they possess. But yeah, I'm not actually going to tail him. I'm just going to get him straight into his enclosure. Let's see how gorgeous this animal is. He can still swing back at me, but look how awesome. Straight back into his side. It's nothing to do with me. What an absolute fucking beast of a snake. But let's close up and move on to the next. Okay. So from one mamba onto three more. <laughs> um, these green mambas, eastern green mambas over here have taken a dump and I want to put some more decorations in there for them. So let's get them out. I'm sorry if I woke you up, brother. But that's no need to come flying out like that. has to take a deadly bite. Okay. You can see how well these guys just sail across branches. It's actually insane to watch. And if you guys can feel how strong these guys actually are, it would be actually insane as well. It feels very really similar. To that of a python um, or a boa, especially an arboreal boa. These guys are super, super strong. But yeah, it's not the most venomous mamba out there, or ill-mannered or ill-tempered, as one could say. But it's still a mamba. It still have the capabilities of that of a black mamba. Yeah, it's not something you want to play around with, but they're absolutely gorgeous animals. You guys can see how monstrous these guys are. I just don't want to spend too much time with my back towards the enclosure. So I'm just going to get this guy into this bin so long. And he also has... Oh, that was close to my hand, brother. He is quite fired up, so let's just be gentle. wasn't close at all. <laughs> okay, so let's get the next big one into this enclosure here. And let's hopefully not have such a relatively calm one. Sorry if I'm not talking much, you just do have to concentrate quite a bit. But you can see the size difference of this girl. She is a little bit underweight, but this is about the wild caught size that you guys would actually find in the wild, obviously. <laughs> like on rescues and stuff like that, this is about the size that these guys would be. Not the absolute monster size of these other green mambas. 
Trek minded here because there's one right over there. This is fantastic. Go be with a friend. Oh, okay. Last one. Haven't died yet, so you know. And this is the one that doesn't like to be tailed, but you can see how strong they are. This oak just flipping lifted up the entire branch just by himself. I'm sorry that I have to be quite forceful with you, brother, but I also don't really feel like sitting here for 60 days trying to get you out. Which I might have to do. Okay, 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 okay. You know, enrichment is nice and all, all these flipping branches, and there's not even a lot of branches in this one, in this enclosure, but getting them out for maintenance is one of the most flipping, irritating things I've ever done in my life. But look at the fucking size of these guys. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous mambas. They are quite calm, but obviously um, they're not nocturnal. And when I wake them up, they obviously don't know what's happening and they think they are about to lose their life. So they act in a more defensive way than what they would usually do. But, yeah. Games. I'm just going to get this in and take this out brother, thank you. Definitely the best handling I've ever done, fuck me. But okay, I'm gonna clean up and I'll get back to you guys soon. Okay, so after the smoothest mamba handling that has ever occurred on the face of this planet, I am gonna get, what are you looking at? What? Oh, girlfriend distracted me. But, some of the smoothest mamba handling that has ever been seen on the face of this planet just occurred. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm ever gonna top that stunning achievement, but let's go. you guys can actually come see the difference in size. That's the normal wild caught size, and that is the behemoth of a green mamba. <laughs> it's actually insane. But yeah, these guys are a bit, temperamental at night it seems but not easier when there's not twigs and shit around hey even though you still want to come up at my hand check how beautiful this guy is absolutely insane but you know go home i don't feel like dealing with you enrichment some greenery some more leaves a new house better for you mr down i mean now, the pussy came out of basically. Just as dangerous and just as deadly, but just the size difference is just like, it's stupid actually the size of the other one. These guys, it actually doesn't show up well on camera. I think I'm trying to climb of her beautiful animal. Please don't climb to me, that's not what I meant. Let's get you in your home as well. Hope you like the renovations. Please don't shoot that. And finally, get inside. Get inside. And finally, this other big behemoth. Hopefully it doesn't shoot out at me. Hopefully those don't shoot back out at me. But let's get this one. seem to be to be handled that much very much. Check how gorgeous they are. Absolutely stunning species. Don't climb back up with me. Gorgeous animals. Can't get enough of them. But you know I don't want you to do this. Do not want you to wrap your whole body around me. It's not gonna be a fun time. Check it to suit top. Honestly, one of the most pretty snakes there is. Seems like they're already enjoying the new house, Mr. Down. They like a humid environment, but yeah. 
a lot smoother <laughs> in taking them out. And I'm just going to close up and move on to the next snake. And hopefully it goes a whole lot smoother. So these puff adders went to the bathroom. Um, over yonder, only one of them's out and about. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Doesn't seem like handling's going too well tonight. But this is one of the karma puff adders I own. Beautiful big male and zanian puff adder. Look at how gorgeous and huge this guy is. Just have to be very careful because he still is puff adder. One of the most potent cytotoxic animals in Africa. Nicknamed the landmine of South Africa because of all of the snake bites that occur from these guys. And that's not because they actually want to harm us in any way. That is just because their distribution is just so wide. I mean, their distribution is almost all the way through Africa. I mean, their distribution is actually like insane. So obviously, the more snakes there are, the more human interaction there is, and so on and so forth. But this guy is absolutely beautiful. It's also super, super calm. One of the calmer puff adders I've ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous. I love him. But let's get out the not so nice ones. Hopefully you can't get out of there. And you will hear very shortly why these guys are actually called puff adders from this little oaky here. I, mean, I think you might have been sneaking. like this but absolutely gorgeous three different localities of puff adders yeah this looks like a little female little female kzn locality puff adder and then my big limpopo locality puff adder that seems to have gone through the wars as it seems i'll show you guys a bit of her right now have to be quite careful because she is quite touchy. I can't see her hit. There we go. So as you guys can see over there on her right hand side, she's been hit by something. Something or other. Uh, there's a big scar along the side of her and a lot of broken ribs on that side. But she's doing well. I mean, she might even be grabbed because check at the size of her at the base there. She's quite thick from like the last third-ish all the way down. And yeah, gorgeous animal, but obviously been through the walls. Absolutely love her though. But let's get her in here. And there you can see the three different localities of Puff Adder. Limpopo, Tanzania, and KZN. Gorgeous. I cleaned up the poo-poo, the poo-poo I just spot cleaned it and now I'm going to get these little menacing puff adders. Literally the most menacing one is this little tiny guy, he's such an asshole. Might be a female but you know, it's quite difficult to tell with these small little guys but let's get the other two out now, quite relaxed ones. But you still can't take for granted just because they relax that they won't take a swing at you. This is the one that's been through the wars, still absolutely gorgeous. She has like smiley face patterns down the back of her instead of chevrons. It's absolutely insane. Love her. Love her, love her, love her, love her, love her. And even though she's been through the wars, obviously something's happened to her. She still seems pretty sweet. Very skittish, but seems like quite a sweet animal. And then, this big, big boy that just struck at the bin, actually, he seems a bit agitated. He's a bit agitated, so I'm not going to mess with him too much, but you can see how much bigger he is than the rest of them. Absolutely gorgeous. But again, I'm not going to mess with these guys. Go into your hole. Or don't. I'm not going to mess with these guys too much, but look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's that female showing a little bit of mating interest there. Check it out. Following it. 
be pretty sick if they do mate. But I'm just gonna close up. If you wouldn't mind, sir. Looks like you're lining up to bite me, but you know, we'll survive. But yeah, I'm just gonna move on to the next snake real quick when I get this glass closed. Cool. So I am going to be moving on to my Mozambique Spinning Cobra. I don't know if my girlfriend started the video or not, but did you? Okay, cool. So the Mozambique Spinning Cobra is just down here and my fucking forehead is so hot that it's just frosting up my glasses, which is fantastic. So he's taking a dump and he's actually been doing quite well in a little display enclosure, which is actually quite surprising. And what in the sweet Mother McCree is this caught on? I guess not. But he is just in this hide over here, so just gonna flip it over real quick. And see how he's doing today. Don't know if he's doing too hot or too good, brothers. And obviously, again, with the amount of stuff that I put in here now, for well, the snake's benefit is really to my detriment and you looking like you want to spray at me so please don't do that so. and he also feels like he wants to poop on me but they, he's not as arboreal as the mambas so it's a lot easier to get him out of those type of enclosures but he's absolutely gorgeous. He is a true spitting cobra, unlike the Runkhaus, which isn't a true spitting cobra. But he is a sweetheart. I believe it's a she with the size, but he is quite a sweetheart. Very, very calm cobra. It does flip over itself quite a bit, but it's just to get away. It's just spooked by any movements. Let's check how gorgeous it is. Absolutely insane animal. Let's get you in there. Not even one spit today. You know, it's what happens when you handle your animals. And clearly, you are uncultured. You do not deserve to be my my girlfriend. Not at all. Hey, Naya Mozambique, do you want to be my girlfriend? Probably. Probably will get that reference. Hey, you will. Hey, will you? Seems like you and a feeding response. <laughs> but gorgeous animal. Especially if she is in a feeding response, I don't want to be bitten because she will put all of her venom into me and that wouldn't be the funnest of times. But yeah. Enjoy your fresh extended enclosure and I'm gonna move on to the snouted and then that's gonna be the end of the video, brothers and sisters. The uh, Snouted Cobras took a fat dump over there, which is fabulous. They do it in the most unreachable places imaginable. I swear they do it just to solely piss me off. Hey, but yeah, this is my pair of normal band. Well, I was going to say normal banded Snouted Cobras, but normal locality Snouted Cobras. And don't go in the poo poo. Well, this is. Hey. Hey, old dickers. Look at the size of her motherfucking head. It's like the size of four mother. Seems to be struggling a little bit. Hey, old dickers. I'll help you out. Maybe you're going a bit senile. But check at the size. Absolutely flipping gorgeous cobra. She is very, very dumb when it comes to riding a hook or just, you know, life in general. She seems very bad at it. She seems very, very unintelligent most of the time. But yeah, just gonna get her straight into the enclosure. And here we go. Old Duckus is being extraordinarily retarded, so let's go to out first, eh? Why don't we? Hey, Old Duckus, are you just gonna come flying up at my hand again? 
because that just seems to be your life in general. Like now she will just come flying back. Just, just, just why? Just why? There, your whole body supported, but you're still trying to climb, like you're a flipping cobra. But check, the size of a belly is literally three of my fingers. And I mean, I'm a big dude. I'm six foot eight, <laughs> so you know she's flipping huge. But yeah, let's go to into her enclosure. Good girl. And let's get the mail out. It is a little bit less of an idiot, but I mean, not by much, but just like a little bit less. He's gonna fly up as well, but he actually complies most of the time. Yeah, most of the time he complies, even though he's trying to get to my finger to bite me. But you got a mumbo, don't climb there. And I've just noticed that they've also taken a shit literally right there. I hate these cobras with a literal passion. <laughs> Only thing that tongs are good for. <laughs> but okay, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.